So here it is, Armor of Repression Elite, done by Six Medius, version 2. So we have the Six Medius, we're going in, let's do this. So we were asking for Paralyze Resist, in case we get to a second turn in Phase 2. Um, high Magic, Dual Cast with Ring of the Lucii, and Frozen Hurricane was optional. It helps us get through Phase 1 a little bit faster, but makes Phase 2 a little bit trickier. Um, we realized that we couldn't survive in Phase 2 because of the possible triple meteor that was happening. Um, we just can't get a unit that can heal up every turn while still being able to cast um, Mirage for Mirage Vest on itself. Um, it's just not possible to have a free turn like that. Um, so we decided that we have to kill it from 50%. So that's what we're going to do. We have to get to 80% first to get through the first threshold. So to get to 80% we're going to be on a two turn rotation until we get there pretty much. So we have to break its attack and magic. We have to use Cradle of Horns. We have to use, uh, well, we use whatever, heal or MP recovery. And we use provoke. These two units, you know what, right now, they can just attempt to get an S board maybe? No? Okay. Because until we get a uh, break on, they're not going to do anything, so. So we use offensive freeze. We use Cradle of Horns, we use Provoke, and you know what? Let's go ahead and get the MP recovery working. Pendraken, you are not wrong. So we get Provoke. Let's dual cast some Alterna. Yo, Zai! Zai Scribe! That's what happens when you push it. <laughs> Zai, thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you for the resub. Much love, my dude. I wasn't quite sure how much damage that Vince was going to do because we haven't taken in him before, so I didn't press as hard with him at first. He's going to take a lot of damage, but he's always going to take a lot of damage. All right. We can probably we can probably just repeat that turn. Okay. Let's see if they're going to do a little bit more damage than 7%. Okay. See, what we need to do is we need to get them to 80% while having Fenrir up. So here we are at the 80% threshold with Fenrir up. Okay, so we're gonna push Threnrir. Threnrir. We're gonna push use Fenrir. We just used an Esper for that mission requirement. Okay. Let's go ahead and use a Limit Burst for that mission requirement. So now we've done both of those. Used a Limit Burst, evoked an Esper. Okay, great. We will dual cast Alterna. Get a little bit of damage on. Seventy-one percent. Looks great. Okay. And then we get uh we have to break and put up Cradle of Horns.
break its attack and magic, put up Cradle of Horns, and now Reaper's gonna do nothing. It just gets rid of our one stack of Mirage, which was from Fenrir. And so now we just need to keep that rotation back up. Get back to 60%. So I'll see you guys at the 60% threshold. This turn, I use Benolfnir. I heal up to full. That way we're going through the threshold with full HP. I use Provoke. Okay. Now we're just going to use these one at a time because I cannot press him past 50%. Okay, so we're at 54%. Wings of Rebirth. You took a nap? Oh, that must have been a good nap. You were out You were out for like an hour and a half or something? I think it's amusing how long you fought trying FFBE when your best friend tried to get you to try it. You think because other games like Mobius fail to draw, me, draw you in, you rebuffed Brave Exvius for so long. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's the way it is. Like, uh, a friend will loan me a book and say, you need to read this. And I won't read it. I'll just sit there and be like, meh, and I won't read it. But one day I'll be super bored out of my mind, and I'll be like, ugh, I need something to do. And I'll pick up that book, and it'll be like five years later. And I'll pick up that book, and I'll read it. And then I'll have to read the next one, and the one after, and the one after, until I've read the entire series. But it just sat there for like five years, you know me, not reading it or whatever. <clears throat> so now we need to get to uh, 50% with the Fenrir buff up. Okay, so we're just going to play around for a hot minute. Break attack magic. Cradle of horns. Provoke. We're going to try to kill it next turn. This turn, we're going to cast Fenrir buff. Last turn, we did the attack magic break. So this turn, we're going to use Vinofnir, or however you say that. 50% spirit break. Okay? And we use Fenrir. Boom! Got that sweet Fenrir buff. <laughs> he fucked up. Okay. We get Cradle of Horns going. Now, as long as we have... Yeah, you know what? Everybody's got... Soon. Soon. Everybody's got HP recovery. So we'll just guard with these two units. Okay, now here we go. What we're gonna do here is we're going to chain with Mirage, R20 Mirage, and we're gonna dual cast 
Alterna. So we're getting dual cast Alterna coming off of both of these two units, going into two pod chains. <laughs> You're just using every emote shadow? <laughs> every single one of the emotes? Okay, and just in case there's any question of whether or not I used a Limit Burst, there's another Limit Burst. Okay, so let's do this. Raise the sun! Nine percent. Okay. What we're going to need. is man I don't know let's hope let's let's hope that's all we can do is hope this is gonna hit us with a meteor 56 HP! 56 HP! Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, there it is! And we have enough MP to do one. Alright, no items. Use a limit burst. Evoke an Esper. He has all these buffs up, but hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to do 9% damage with all those buffs up, right? Right? Let's hope. 9% damage? You guys think we can do this? Yeah? <sighs> Can't I dis dispel and reapply the break? I could, but I don't think I have to. Done! Done! That's it! That is it! We killed him normally! No, no Leviathan! We did it! We did it! Iron Giant down! Next one! We're moving up the ladder! Mmm! Mmm! That is another one bite in the dust! Oh yeah! Look at that! Look at that list! Oh, there he is! There he's dead! He's dead! He's dead. It's a dead iron giant. Mmm. Off the list. Yes. Mmm. Fuck yeah. Oh, whoop, the chair spun too much. <laughs> yes. Not to be a downer, but the next one's bomb trial. Why do you have to do that to me? All right. Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Here is our friend unit provided by V Young. V Young was sharing a friend unit with Black Trump Card with these rolls, Royal Crown, Handsome Uniform, Ring of the Luci, and Ravenheart for dual cast and, and the Alterna. Magical Potential, Unmatched Wizardry, Dragon's Affection for the Paralyzed Resistance, and Maneater Plus. My units were. We had uh, slot number one with Pod, Genbu Ring, Mirage Vest, which we didn't need. Um, so we're gonna have Mirage Vest on a few of these units. Uh, we ended up scrapping that from the build, but we didn't pull it off the characters for optimization. 
So a few of them are going to have a Mirage Vest because of a uh, previous run. Frozen Crown, Beach Ball, with those rolls, and however you say this, which is Livid Chantoto's um, Trust Mastery. Energy Converter, Dual Wield, Thirst for Survival, and Equip Rod. Our second unit had Holy Wand with these rolls, Aura Staff, Empress Garland, Mirage Vest again, Three Stars, Domino's Boots, Quintessence, Equip Staff, Great Mage's Chant, and Cradle of Horns. Our third unit had Double Beach Balls with Hairpin of Purity, Mirage Vest again, Ignis's Food Notes, Pod 153, Energy Converter, Dual Wield, Adventure, and Thirst for Survival. Then we had my mage had Black Trump Card with Royal Crown, Avian Cloak, Soul of the Masa, Ring of the Luciai, Magical Potential, Unmatched Wizardry, Barbarissia Spirit, and Maneater Plus. My tank had Zodiac Estrion, Little General, Wolf Mask, Assassin's Vest, Protect Grappler G3, Ring of Lucy, Transcendent Soul, Equip Heavy Shield, True Spirit of Freedom, and Unquestionable Loyalty. Our friend unit was rocking a Diabolos, and my friend, my units were using Shiva, Phoenix, Fenrir, Diabolos, and Golem. So. See you next time. We're going to go for either Bomb Family or Scorn of the Marching Beasts. See you next time on Medius Mondays. Right, the sun.